Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Marcus and today in this video I will share with you how to design and animate this kinetic typography using Adobe After Effects. So let's go. So let's start. First, let's set up our composition. I'm going to name mine kinetic type 011. Let's make it 1080 by 1080 at 30 frames per second, 10 seconds duration and let's press OK. Now let's select the type tool and let's write something. I'm going to write MKBHD my favorite tech YouTuber. I will leave his channel in the video description, just in case you don't know him, which I think will be impossible, but you never know. So now we have our own typography and let's right click over the timeline and make a new solid. And let's make it comp size and make it 000000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000 and press OK. And let's move the solid under the text layer. Excellent. Now with our text layer selected, let's go to effects and simulation and let's select CC scatter. So. CC Scatter divides our text into tiny particles and scatters them into the composition. Which is great, but we need something else. So let's leave the scatter value at zero, and what we need from this effect is actually the twist controls. So let's start by marking keyframe on the left twist, then let's move the timeline needle to the 3 seconds and change the rotation of the left twist to 1. Cool, now let's move the timeline back to 1 second and let's mark a keyframe on a right twist. Then move the timeline to 4 seconds and change the rotation value of the right twist to 1. Give it a little preview and now you can see how the twist effect works. And to make this look a little bit better we need to adjust the keyframes velocity to make this animation a little bit more nicer. So let's select all the keyframes and activate our graph editor. And let's select the curves and make them easy and ease and make a slight adjustment. And perfect. And hide the graph editor for now. As you can see here, the letters look a little bit faded. This is because even though we aren't using any percentage of the scatter, the effect still divides the text into tiny particles. And when we apply these twists, the text loses some definition. Which is alright, it's an easy fix. Just select our text layer, press Ctrl or Command D to duplicate our layer, and now our definition issue is gone. Perfect. Now let's select all the layers, right click and choose Precompose. Give it a name, I will use Type Motion and press OK. Now let's go inside of our comp, let's use the Region of Interest tool to make a selection of the text, be sure to check if there is enough space for the twisted type, and when you finish adjusting the crop, let's go to Composition and select Crop Comp from the Region of Interest. Then let's move the work area to be in the limits of our keyframes, and then right click over it and select Trim Comp to Work Area. Now let's go back to the main comp, Select the text type motion comp and go to effects, stylize and choose CC repertile. And let's increase the expression down by 1000 and expression up the same. Great, now we still with our composition selected, let's press S for scale and let's mark a keyframe. Let's move the timeline needle 2 seconds and change the scale value to 50%. Let's move the timeline needle 2 seconds and change the scale value to 50%. Then move the timeline to 4 seconds and change it back to 100%. And with that done, Let's alt click over the scale stopwatch to open the expression editor. And let's use the expression library and go to property and select loop out type. So this way our scale animation will loop forever. But we also need to do a quick adjust to the animation curves. And with that done, let's make the type motion composition loop as well. So select it and then right click and go to time and choose enable time remap. On a time remap, let's alt click over the stopwatch and go to the expression library once again and select property and this time let's choose loop out duration. A little trick when we're trying to do a loop with a time remap, we need to go to the last keyframe of the time remap and move the timeline one frame behind, mark a new time remap keyframe and delete the old one. This is necessary because the last keyframe of the time remap is always empty, so the loop wouldn't work correctly. I will make the work area just 8 seconds, but the loop will work at any length. For this exercise, I will make the work area just 8 seconds, but this will loop at any length, as long as a multiple of 4, like 8, 12, 16, 20, well, you get it. And yeah, that's it. I hope you like it, don't forget to like and subscribe, and of course, check the other kinetic type tutorials, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers, bye bye.